Hello, my Mystic Tribe. Welcome to your weekend reading. And I apologize that I've been absent kind of for two days. I will have a daily read done tomorrow. A lot of shit going down, okay? Um, kind of derailed me a little bit, but I am coming back. Anyhow, this is your weekend reading. Uh, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. And please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. And if you like a personal reading, see the description box below. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on that subscribe button and the notification so that you are notified when you're up, when I upload new videos, when I do giveaways, and when I um announce the winners of my giveaways. Anyhow, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. Okay, you got balance. This is about bringing balance back. It is about, you know, balance. I feel I'm seeing all these, um, I don't know if they're mountains or trees or what they are in the background. And it seems a little bit off balance because there's five and not six. So I feel like that there is some sort of need in different, all areas of your life different, uh, that, you know, things need to be brought into balance and into perspective. Okay. Let's get into the rest of the reading. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please, for the collective. <clears throat> okay, you got a couple cards coming out already. Okay, we have the King King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress Energy. We have the World Card, Capricorn Energy. We have the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Swords. And the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Okay, what I'm feeling here is that there is some truth that has come out about a situation here. I, I feel as though that we have somebody that's single, okay? Somebody is single, somebody that's abundant, somebody who's very independent. Uh, who's in the mindset, I don't need anybody, okay? And we have somebody rushing in. So I feel like somebody came rushing in, communicating all the right things, all the positive things, communicating passion here. But there seems to be, I think I feel like it ends as quickly as it begins. I think that somebody, um, you know, a successful completion of this, because... Uh, some sort of truth that comes out about a toxic situation. Maybe the devil is obsession. It's toxicity. It's um, addictions as well. Sometimes it is fear. Okay. But what I'm feeling here is some kind of truth about addictions that come out. About another person rushing into the single person's life. Trying to communicate messages of passion. And I feel like that the, whoever was a single person wasn't having it. And they decided, you know, I'm just going off in another direction here. You know, um, this is not for me. It's what I'm getting. We have the high priestess. And um, that is Piscinian energy. Okay. 
Cancer energy. It was ruled by the moon. And we have the King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. The hang, um, Hanged Man, Virgo energy. And this is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of water here. We have the Lover's card, Gemini energy. And we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel as though that somebody is making some sort of decision to find their happiness. Okay, somebody is not settling. That somebody then they are not. They're making the decision to cut something toxic away in order to find their happiness. Because I think that somebody may have been led on. You know, it feels like a hanging person, somebody who is just hanging there, and with the ten of pentacles. You know, I, I feel like this is the carrot dangled in front of somebody's nose. I will offer you this. I will do this. I will do that. And it was all lies, okay? And I'm feeling like that somebody was trusting in their intuition concerning um, another person who may have had their emotions very much in check. They might have been very... Um, somebody was hiding their true emotions. That's what it is. Somebody was trying, hiding their true emotions. And honestly, um, it could... It could be both. I'm feeling like maybe the person who is feel, feeling very independent, hiding their emotions, keeping things. It's like somebody being very calm, okay? And they, they saw, they had the carrot dangled in front of their face because somebody was saying all the right things, promising all the right things, but it turned out to be lies, falsehoods, and some truth coming out three of swords energy seven of cups eight of swords and a nine of wands so I think that somebody is definitely licking their wounds right now I think somebody is in kind of some kind of state of confusion over a heartbreak. But, and, but at the same time, I think that somebody is in the process of setting themselves free and they are putting up some blockages. Somebody might even be blocking another person for that matter. Okay? Um, because what they thought was their Ten of Cups really wasn't. Okay? Queen of Swords energy with the King of Swords, or Knight of Swords. Wow, somebody came rushing in, but the Queen of Swords put on the brakes, okay? The Queen of Swords is, and I feel like somebody really being caught up in their head over this too. Five of Pentacles, somebody's feeling left out in the cold now because of somebody, because of the other person's independence. We have the Five of Wands here. There might have been jealousy, there might have been competition here, or strife, or conflict. So I think that there were some conflicts involved in this connection that somebody decided, I'm um, not dealing with this. We have the Four of Cups. And some because somebody realized that what the all the good things that the other person said that they were going to do, all the good, all the carrot dangled in front of the single person's, the independent person's nose, the, uh, it's like that person, that independent person, that's who I'm feeling, realized that, well, this is not what I wanted. This is like, it's like, not again, you know. Um, three of Cups here with the <clears throat> Ace of Swords. There's, there could be truth coming out about third party here. The person that was all dangling the carrot might be dangling that carrot in front of multiple people. Temperance card here with the devil. So this is about um, finding that balance, the healing, that harmony. This is about... And somebody's proceeding with caution here. And I feel that somebody has learned something. Somebody's growing from this experience. We have the tower here with the high priestess. So I think that, you know, there was there was definitely a tower moment. There, was pro there may have been a blow up. But somebody was trusting in their intuition. It could also be a blow up over um, secrets being held. We've got another three. Three of wands. 
Um, I think that the, or with the King of Cups, I think that King of Cups had a motive, had a plan that did not go right. It's like this King of Cups plan blew up in his face, his or hers. Okay, that could be a feminine energy, a, fe a female with a masculine energy as well. Okay, because some one person was trusting their intuition over a plan of the others that caused a big, it's just like, I feel like somebody's plan blew up in their face. <clears throat> Four of pentacles here. And somebody is holding on to their pentacles. Somebody is holding on to their true self, their own stability here. This screams independence here, and somebody's displaying it. Seven of Wands here. Yeah, somebody's very defensive. Okay, somebody is, but somebody rose up to higher ground. Um, we have the Queen of Wands here with the Lover's card. That is the other woman. So, yeah, this person was, li one person was lying through their teeth, let me tell you. Um, Justice card, Karma. Okay, you know, Somebody getting what is rightfully theirs. Somebody, this is about, the, the Justice card is about patience. Somebody seeking and knowing that they are on the right path. Okay? So I feel as though that this Queen of Wands may have been the third party. And may have realized that she was in a third party. And making the decision to go on the right path to find her true Ten of Cups. Okay? Because I don't think she was, from what I'm reading here... She was not a willing participant of a third party. We've got the full energy here. This is somebody turning over a new chapter. This is like a new path, not taking the baggage with them. And it's with the Three of Swords. So I feel like somebody is starting over after a heartbreak. Um, you know, somebody's starting over after a disappointment here. <clears throat> Ten of Wands and somebody is seeing clarity and they're dropping the burden. They're just dropping this like a hot potato. Okay, um, we have the strength card here with the eight of swords. Somebody's finding the willpower and strength to get out of a certain mindset, to get out of a trap. Okay, somebody might have been felt like that they were in some sort of trap or trapped in some sort of situation, whether it was real or in their mind. But it feels like that somebody is finding that strength and courage to get past that. And we have the knight of wands here with the nine of wands. So somebody's being very strategic. Somebody has their vision. Somebody is making changes. There is change here. Somebody's, somebody's taking action to have that strength to break out of this mental prison, if you would say. You know, um, this is also about fear. Eight of Swords has a, a, an element of fear. So somebody, I feel, is putting up a block. Okay? They're blocking somebody else's energy out. Uh, four of Wands for their own stability. Okay. They're not going to get stuck in a situation that they don't want. They're being very strategic about it with the King of Swords being very strategic in, you know, breaking out of putting up blocks and breaking out of being stuck. Queen of Pentacles. She is like the Empress of the Minor Arcana. You know, somebody's being nurturing to self. Somebody is doing some self-care. Uh, somebody's being very strategic about their own self, their own stability here. Okay. And we have the Knight of Pentacles and they are proceeding forward with caution. Okay. And we have the Magician. Manifestation or manipulation. So I feel like maybe this one, the person that was unwilling an unknowing being a third party who was single she was single she or he was single very independent and i feel like they're not proceeding with caution they're not going to be manipulated i think they feel like that they were manipulated by the other person that was already previously committed here and hid their commitment okay um Five of Cups here. And somebody's definitely going to have some sort of regrets over this. Um, there is a sense of loss, a sense of regret, a sense of remorse. Um, Page of Pentacles. They Somebody may want to try to offer some sort of apology here. King of Wands. Yeah. Somebody wants to go from the knight to the king here. And think that they're being the better person by offering some sense of some sort of apology 
but the empress knows her value and knows her worth okay um she you don't you have to watch your approach with an empress okay ten of swords because she's ending a troublesome situation she's walk she's abandoning this something that was maybe even um kept her up at night something that left her very anxious she's abandoning that even though this person comes to apologize try to apologize i think it's going to fall on deaf ears um the empress knows her value she knows her worth she gives birth to positivity she she's very creative and she is creating her own abundance she is very uh, many times the empress card will also sim symbolize a single person um because the nine of pentacles is the pre-empress energy this is the empress energy somebody's very abundant you know you have to approach the empress in the right way well, she's going to shut you down. Okay, this is what I have for you. Hope you found this helpful and useful. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.